Get ready. Mouse droppings, cockroaches, food stored at dangerous temperatures. Believe it or not, these are violations found at restaurants that will be serving food at the Taste of Chicago. All of them discovered by two investigator Pam Zekman, who is here with an original report. Pam. Kate, it's a simple question. Should restaurants who have one, two, or even three failed health inspections at their permanent location be trusted to serve food at the Taste of Chicago? Tea burger, tea burger, tea burger. Chicago's Billy Goat Tavern is a regular at Taste of Chicago, but in the past two years, they've failed three health inspections for the presence of 30 small flies, improper hand washing, and food temperature violations. It's an indication of not learning a lesson, but more importantly, not understanding how important food safety is to the health of consumers. Almost half the permanent restaurants featured at the Taste of Chicago have either failed health inspections or had critical violations in the past two years. That's terrifying, absolutely terrifying. We caught up with some of the restaurants in question at a Taste of Chicago preview. Pork Chop failed its 2015 inspection with citations for improper hand washing and storing food at potentially dangerous temperatures. It's a restaurant. It's, you know, some stuff like that happen all the time. We're not like, nobody's imposing or in no, no, no big, no big problems. Experts say food temperature issues are critically important. Could somebody get sick from this? Very sick. Now, Connie's Pizza was one of those that had some problems. What? what? And I'm eating it! Connie's Pizza received critical violations in 2014 for improper hand washing and sausage pizza stored at potentially dangerous temperatures. We do apologize that we did have a slip back then, but we can guarantee that our food is going to be safe. Ianzi's African Cuisine failed inspections in both 2014 and 2015. They were cited for cockroaches, mice droppings, and storing goat meat and cow's feet at potentially dangerous temperatures. I talked to the owner on the phone. If you can't keep temperatures at the proper safe level in your restaurant, how can we expect you to do it in the outdoor venue of Taste of Chicago? He said he'll take extra care during the Taste of Chicago. Other featured restaurants with failed inspections include Chicago's Dog House, Punky's Pizza and Pasta, and Eli's Cheesecake Company. These folks failed it on their premises. How are they going to survive at the Taste of Chicago and ensure safe food for the people who are there? Is it safe for people to go to Taste of Chicago and eat the food? Absolutely. We're there every day. We work very hard to ensure that the food that is at the Taste of Chicago is safe. So how do restaurants with a history of violations end up at the Taste? The city says their past reports are reviewed and the restaurants all passed follow-up inspections. But what really counts is a special inspection done for all Taste applicants, which they must pass. You can go to our website to see the city health reports on the 16 restaurants with violations. And we have a written statement from the City Department of Special Events. Kate, they say those inspectors will be at every venue at least four times a day. So they'll be at the taste checking to make sure they're up to snuff. That's what they say.